Hey guys, it's Bus Jockey. Um, I don't do this much, uh, but uh, um, I thought you know, you know, I could do some tool reviews. Um, so I finally got. Uh, I did finally purchase some new tools. Um, I finally decided to get real heavy into the uh, the cordless tools because um, with my job. I'm going all over the property, and a lot of the time I can't be in a bay, and uh, a lot of the time it's very, it's very hard uh, to string an airline to my air tools and everything, and it's more of a hassle than anything sometimes. So I decided, you know, I need to get some cordless tools. So this is just uh, just showing you some of the cordless stuff that I got, and. Uh, later on i'll try to do some actual torque testing on it um so i'll fill you guys in later but i thought i'd just show you on you know the stuff that i'm buying and um i'll explain to you the reason why i'm buying uh, these tools um the first one i got here it's uh it's matco i'm a big matco fan by the way um i like their their hand tools and their power tools um and as everybody knows, I, for diagnostic stuff, I like PicoScope, uh, Load Pro, Power Probe. Um, I also uh, I do like Snap-on diagnostic equipment. They I like their scan tools. Um, so I use I use Snap-on scan tools at the shop. And uh, I originally had the uh, red uh, brick, as everyone knows. I had that one for a long time. So. Uh, but for the hand tools and the power tools and stuff, I'm I like Matco, so that's just my personal preference. But uh, but anyway, um, the first one I've got here, it's the 16 volt uh, lithium ion 3/8 impact wrench. Uh, this is the compact one, and uh, so far, you know, I took it out of the box. I've got the batteries charged and everything on it, and uh, I really like uh, the feel of the tool. It feels good in my hand. Um, the uh, maximum torque that it says that's on it is um, it's up to 70 foot-pounds of maximum torque. Uh, so that's not bad for a little, <coughs> excuse me, a compact unit. So um, I did, though, however, I went outside real quick and just uh, out of my curiosity, as everybody knows how I am, um, I tried to take lug nuts off with this on my van and it wouldn't do it. <laughs> so I hammered on it for like, oh, 15, 20 seconds. It wouldn't take it off. And uh, my lug nuts are torqued to like about 90, 100 foot pounds. So th this tool isn't going to work on the bigger stuff, uh, guys and gals. But um, for like the smaller things, like if you're in a cramped position in the engine compartment, under a dash, you know, stuff like that, this is going to work pretty good for you. It's, it's nice and compact. It's small. It's got a good feel to it, and uh, so far I like it. I'll try to do some actual torque testing on it later. I'll like torque a bolt to uh, 70 foot-pounds, like it says on here, and I'll see, you know, if it'll break it loose, you know. So, um, so anyway, that's um, the 3 8 compact impact, and then I also purchased um, a 3 8 16 volt ratchet. It's cordless. And it's got a little bit of weight to it, I will say that. Uh, but uh, this is another tool. It you know it feels good in my hand. Um, it's three eighths drive. It's got a maximum torque of uh, I believe it says it's like seventy foot pounds. I believe. I believe it says 70 foot pounds. Let's see what the sheet says. Yeah, maximum torque 70 foot pounds. So I'll put a I'll put it to the test also and see if it can do it. But this I got this one's a kit. Um, comes with a ratchet, two 16 volt batteries, and then the charger. Um, I can't remember how much the prices were on these. I'll have to look them up, but. If you go to um, the Matco Tools website, all the prices are on there, and you can look at them, okay? But anyway, I'll be doing a lot of testing with this. I'll torque 
do torque tests on it and I'll use it. And uh, I'm pretty rough on tools, guys, and that's the reason why I decided to buy the best that I could afford. And um, I'm going to beat the crap out of these tools. <laughs> so if they can survive me, they're pretty good, okay? So um, so anyway, um, and then the other thing that I uh, decided to get, too, is I wanted a really good half-inch drive uh, cordless impact and um, Matco actually just came out with this they've got a video on their YouTube channel about it and I watched it and I saw it and then um, and then there's another uh, video that came out there's a truck shop in I believe it's Washington State I'll see if I can get the link up there for everyone but anyway they took this gun this is the it's a half inch high torque impact. Okay, let me take that plastic off so you can see it better. And uh, this half inch high torque impact is supposed to have 1300 foot pounds of breakaway torque. And if you go by the specs, I believe this will beat the new half inch high power uh, Mac gun and also. Uh, the DeWalt and the Milwaukee, okay? Well, anyway, in that video I was telling you about, they did a competition. They had a Mako distributor with this gun, and they went up against a guy with a Milwaukee gun, and it was on a semi-truck on front wheels. They torqued the lug nuts to 500 foot-pounds, and they did a contest to see which one of the guns would take off all the lugs first. And the Mako gun won. It won by two lug nuts, no, that's not a whole lot, but still, hey, you know, it did beat it. So, uh, anyway, um, after uh, me purchasing, I also have a 3.8 uh, high torque version impact. After I had that, and I've used it for a while, for about oh, three, four weeks, I saw this uh, become available, the half inch model. I had to have it. I'm like, wow, you know, 1,300 foot pounds of torque. I'm out and about, you know, working on stuff this would you know be very helpful to me so i purchased this also i don't have a battery pack with it right now i've got my other uh battery pack it's a 20 volt on the 3 8 high power so i'll just use that one battery pack for now until i can afford another battery pack but anyway i am very curious about this gun and i'm going to try it out and i'm going to uh work it hard and see if it can stand up to the uh you know regular day you know abuse not that i'm gonna like beat on it or anything but i'm really gonna work it hard and i'm gonna see if this can stand up to you know everyday use because this is a professional tool it's designed for professional use well guess what i'm gonna see if it can stand up to it so um but anyway i'll be using this every day as much as i can and i'll also um like i said i'll try to do i'll do a contest myself. There's another guy in the shop. He's got a, that the new uh, the Dewalt gun, the half inch high torque gun, and we'll find uh, maximum bolt capacity that we can put on it. We'll torque it down, and we'll see if it can break loose some um, the nuts, you know, to the maximum torque. And then uh, maybe one day, if we got time, we might do uh, a contest on taking off front lug nuts that are torqued down to 450 foot pounds, you know. So. Anyway, um, I'll be excited to do that. Um, the only thing I'm noticing so far about this gun, I'm holding it now in my hand. It's a little heavy, you know, which is understandable because if you look at uh, the size of this thing and the motor, um, it's it's a little big. So it's it's a little bit heavy. Don't get me wrong, but you know, it's a half inch gun. You know, that's that's expected, especially for a cordless. So, uh, but the weight and how it feels in my hand. I think it feels pretty good. It doesn't feel lopsided. It doesn't feel like it's going to tilt one way or the other. If you hold it level, it feels pretty good. So, and I like the grip. And, of course, it's got the uh, fancy-dancy uh, Matco emblem on it. <laughs> so, but anyway, I'll be real excited to try this out and use it every day. And then uh, see what uh, what type of results we get. So, but, uh, but no, that's some of the extra cordless stuff that I bought and then 
I got a, uh, it was a special, I got a, I got a, oh yeah, it's a power probe, ah, yeah, <laughs> I know what you guys are saying about that, but, uh, but I use power probe too, and it has its uses, but I got another one, a free one, I'll probably keep this one at home, um, but, yeah, it's kind of cool, it's got, uh, different colors on it, it's basically the colors of, uh, well, I, I call it the Matco colors, so I thought that was kind of cool, and I got it free, you know, so yeah, I'll take it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I got those cordless tools, and then I also, um, I got some new pneumatic tools I needed to get. Um, I got a 3 8 impact wrench. This is the, um, the high torque model, um, where it has, see how many foot-pounds? Let's say on the front here. Uh, doesn't say on the front. I thought it said somewhere. Or on the back. Huh. It doesn't say it. Or if it's got it on the uh, the instructions. This is the the standard three eighths. Um, high torque impact apparently what i heard it has a the half inch anvil in it but you've got or not the half inch anvil it's basically like got the guts of a half inch gun if i if i'm saying this correctly but then it's got the three eighths anvil on it and it's pretty compact it's pretty light um the torque on it i think it's in this um it's in these directions, just a sec. Okay, here we go. Yeah, uh, breakaway torque, 625 foot-pounds. Uh, working torque range, 25 to 300. So I'll be curious about this one, um, but I needed another 3 8 impact. I originally had a Harbor Freight 3 8 earthquake, and you know what, I paid for it and everything. Not a bad gun. It did uh, do what it said it was supposed to do. It had pretty good torque. I used it, you know, take off airbag nuts and stuff. It worked pretty good. Uh, but finally, one day I was using it, and the uh, the anvil just sheared off on it. <laughs> it was out of warranty. So I went ahead and decided, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and buy the best gun that I can get. So I decided to do that. Um, so anyway, I've got, I got that. And then um, I also got, I got the 3 8 stubby impact wrench. This, these are pneumatic, by the way. Um... But this one it says it produces 550 foot-pounds of breakaway torque. Like I said, I'll I'll find that out and see if it actually can do it. But uh, but yeah, I already I also have this in a half in a half inch drive. And I will say this, uh, guys and gals, if you do not own a compact impact wrench yet, I recommend you get one. You you'll love them. I've already used my half inch now for oh two three weeks. And it has helped me tremendously in getting stubborn, stubborn fasteners loose in tight spots. A while back, I had to pull out um, an exhaust, a muffler, because the exhaust was restricted. And there was a nut and a bolt for the mount for the exhaust stuck up against the frame. And what happened was the uh, frame was starting to rust out a little bit, and we've got to repair it. But it shifted on me, and I couldn't get a deep well socket underneath on the nut... So what I had to do is I had the half inch and then I had a swivel socket, a swivel impact socket for the right size. So I went on top of the mount. Normally I can't get there because of that mount. It's, uh, it's not very tall, the mount for the muffler and the bracket. So I couldn't get in there very well. But, but with this, with the half inch compact and the swivel, I could get right on it. I hit the trigger and it took the nut off and and nothing flat like less than two seconds you know i was like wow so i'm pretty impressed with uh with the stubby impacts um i highly recommend you get one whether it's a matco or you know astro astro pneumatic you know um 
get what you want, but um, so far I'm I'm really impressed with the Matco line personally. Um, it's uh, good torque. I like the handles. They've got a lot of power. Um, so that that's what I like. You know what what you get that that's your decision. But uh, but I I really like the the Matco power tools. Um, the cordless and the air tools are really good. Uh, so. Um, if you're in the market for getting anything like this, like I said, I highly rec I recommend Matco, but there are other brands too, and, and I understand um, everybody has um, different budgets, so I understand that. So anyway, I thought I'd just share this with you and give you my two cents on these tools, um, but uh, but Matco makes quality stuff, um, and. I like, like I said before, I like their hand tools and their power tools. I prefer them over uh, the snap-on tools, you know, but that's just me. So, but the only thing that I have that, uh, well, let me back up there for a second. This For the snap-on tools, um, for the hand tools, the only thing that I have for hand tool-wise for snap-on, I got a couple ratchets. Um, the ratchets are pretty decent. I like those. But the thing that I liked most from snap-on for their hand tools... I like their line wrenches. They fit really tight. They don't round off uh, lines or anything. The only uh, con is about those line wrenches, that set that I bought. I bought this set. I bought that set back in, um, oh, geez, it was like 2001. I've been doing this for a while. Back in 2001, that wrench set cost over $400. I don't know how much it costs now. I haven't checked, but they were pretty pricey. So just... Just to warn you, you know, if you're if you're wanting to pick up a set of those, they're pretty expensive, and it it would probably take you a few payments <laughs> to pay those off. I remember when I first bought those, I think I was making payments on that set for about three months because back then that's what I could afford, you know, to pay them. So, but anyway, they're good wrenches. Um, I those I recommend you get. They're pretty good. Uh, but for the rest of the stuff that I've seen now. I really, really like Matco. I like the cordless tools or power tools. It's good quality stuff. It's durable. Um, I when I have a warranty issue, I I don't have a problem. The guy that we have, um, you turn in the broken item, he returns it, no problems. So I've I've got a good dealer too. So which is always a plus. So but he you know he takes care of me. So anyway. Um, I'm done rambling. Um, like I said, later on, I'll try to do some torque testing, show you some power output, you know, on the different tools so you guys and gals can get a better idea of um, what the tools can do, and uh, we'll go from there. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, like I said, forgive the rambling. I'm working on that. <laughs> but anyway, I hope uh, everyone has a good day, and uh, take care. Bye.